I feel like I have found the ultimate cheat to YouTube growth because AI is crazy. In the last three months, I've been able to grow my channel faster, all while working less because of AI. So if you want to hear today my AI secrets that are going to change your life and make your channel growth and productivity so much more strategic, then stay tuned. I'm dishing with you all the secrets. Are you ready? Let's dive in. What's up, it's Danny, your guide to authentic video. If you haven't, grab my AI prompts guidebook that coincides with today's video that shares my favorite AI prompts for scaling your YouTube channel. You're welcome. In order to make this video even easier for you to follow, I am going to share how I use AI within each part of my YouTube creation process. So the perfect place to start for this is AI and writing your titles. Now, there are two different AI softwares that I'd like to use for AI title generation, and that's ChatGPT and Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is coded with copywriting strategy and it's up to date with the latest search engines. So I really like it for that reason, but it's 15 bucks a month. ChatGPT, of course, is free, but there's also the upgraded paid version, which I am using as well. So I've compared the two and honestly, I used to like hypotenuse a lot more, but I think with ChatGPT's updates, they're pretty even. So I'll show you both and you can decide for yourself what you like. Now, if you do want to try out hypotenuse, I do have a free trial that you can use. Just use the link heydannyj.com slash hypotenuse and I'll link it above. So let me show you this prompt that is amazing for writing titles. Okay. Let's start with ChatGPT. You're going to write Write 10 YouTube titles around 70 to 80 characters long with specific and targeted keywords that also include emotional trigger or power words that appeal to viewers' desires or pain points on the topic of, and let's do YouTube shorts tips. That's something that I cover on my channel. And you'll see it's going to give me some really good ideas that I can pull from and I can even take some from one, I could take this from zero to hero and then put the back end of something else. I love the psychology of winning YouTube shorts. That's a good one, okay? I'll take the same thing and I can also pull it into hypotenuse. I like to use their hypo chat and I can pull it in and it will also give me some title ideas and you can compare and see what do you think provided better titles. We have Master YouTube Shorts, 10 tips for explosive growth and viral success. Honestly, I would use that title, it's really good. <laughs> so using both of these, I've got some really solid title ideas to be using. Now, another prompt that you can use for even juicier titles, a little controversial, but I also like the prompt, give me 10 clickbait titles that would have a high click-through rate on the topic of, and let's do YouTube shorts tips. And let's see, ooh, unveiling top secret YouTube shorts tips, prepare for shock. YouTube's hidden algorithm crack, Boost shorts with these hacks. Oh my gosh, that's such a good title. <laughs> okay, so I know the clickbait thing, we don't wanna, the video won't be clickbait because it'll, you'll actually be giving people what they want, but we like to write some clickbaity titles, okay? It gets people to click in and then we give them what they want and need. We can also put this into hypotenuse AI and just see what it comes up with and compare the two again. Ooh, YouTube shorts tips, unlock your channel's potential and go viral. I honestly think that ChatGPT's titles were a little bit better than Hypotenuse's, mm, but pretty cool. Now, just a reminder, I never take a full title from AI. I always usually tweak it a little bit myself to make it my own, but it's a great starting place to get ideas for great titles for your channel. My next secret AI tip for growth is using AI to help you write better hooks. We all know now the first 30 seconds of your YouTube videos is the most important when it comes to keeping your viewers on your videos. If you don't grab their interest in that first three seconds, they gone, they're gonna look at someone else's video. So writing a strong hook is more important than ever, especially now that videos play automatically when people are scrolling through YouTube. So this is a prompt that I like to use. You can see here, Create an engaging YouTube hook that taps into viewers' emotions, highlights their pain points, and promises a desirable outcome related to, and let's see, my video topic is going to be YouTube Shorts Tips. The hook should be around two to three sentences long and entice viewers to watch the entire video. Remember to focus on connecting with your audience emotionally while addressing their needs, okay? So I'm gonna write that in 
and it's gonna give me a really awesome hook. Are you tired of pouring your heart into YouTube shorts only to see minimal views and engagement? Imagine a world where your shorts instantly grab attention, leaving viewers begging for more. In this video, you'll discover the closely guarded techniques that successful creators use to skyrocket their shorts to viral stardom. Say goodbye to frustration and hello to the thrill of massive views and a raving audience and get ready to transform your shorts game like never before. Okay, it's a little long. I'll probably condense it. I'll probably say condense this to be shorter, but it's still really good. Even here, frustrated by low YouTube shorts views, discover the secret techniques that turn ordinary shorts into viral sensations. Say hello to massive views and a thrilled audience. Get ready to revolutionize your shorts game. Are you ready? Let's dive in. I was totally watching that video. That's so good. Okay, so this is a great prompt that you can be using for your hooks. Again, you could pull that into hypotenuse as well and get some ideas there, but like, isn't your mind blown? Ugh, I love AI. That's how I use it for hooks. Just a reminder, I would never take this and just say it word for word. I would always edit it into my own voice and make it my own. We use AI as a tool to make us that much more enticing, but we make sure that we add our own flair to it. The next mind blowing way that you can be using AI to scale your YouTube channel faster is having it help you edit your videos. Now, this is actually not something that I do for my channel personally because I have a video editor who I love. But I know when I first started my YouTube channel, I could not afford a video editor. I was editing all my stuff. It's only later on in my channel that I've been able to afford an editor and it makes sense for me. But if you're still starting out in your channel and you're not wanting to spend that extra cash, using AI softwares to edit faster and make your videos look really professional, would super recommend it. Now, one of my favorites that I found is called Descript and it's like an editing software I've never seen before. I wanna show you this if you've, if you've never seen Descript. So you can see here, that Descript actually takes your video and then it transcribes it and you edit it based on the transcription of your video, like a document. It's really cool, it makes editing very quick. So you can see, you can add in images and text really easily. What I think is so cool about Descript is that it can easily use AI to remove any filler words like so or um or uh or you know, which I say you know all the time my videos, I need this, but thank you to my editor who will take those things out. But it's just really cool. There are templates that you can be using. It makes editing super easy. You can do an AI powered green screen like you see here. We can look at their demo. You can see you edit based again, like I said, on the transcript and can pull in different elements into your videos, which is, it's just really neat. And so for me, the editing at first looked a little bit confusing, but I think once you get into trying out Descript, it makes it so much faster. I've had clients who love editing their videos in Descript and can do it way faster than what I would do in like, Final Cut Pro. So would highly recommend checking it out if you wanna edit faster and you don't care about having all the bells and whistles in your video, you just want to it looks polished and put together, try out Descript. The next secret sauce AI tip to growing your YouTube channel is using AI to help you write better descriptions. Now, if you follow me at all, you know that descriptions are like secret sauce to how you can better rank your videos in the YouTube search engine. And so writing solid descriptions is very important. Now there's an AI prompt that I use for ChatGPT or Hypotenuse that is super helpful, but there's also a new AI software that I found that is so cool. So let me show you the software really quick and then I'll show you the AI prompts. The first option is called Morris, Morris, Morris AI? I think so, I do not know how you say it. But if you go to their website, it is super interesting. They create your description and your tags and your title ideas, all of these things. So if you open up the app, I've tried this out actually, you can see, you can put in a video link. So I'd click generate title and I'd put in a URL. So let's say I want to get ideas for the description of a video. What I can do is I can take that video link or just even the idea and I can bring it into this software. And once I upload it in, you'll see that it's gonna give me ideas for what the title of the video can be. Two year experience with Kajabi, the pros, cons and exclusive offer. That's actually a really good title. Maybe I should change mine from Kajabi Review 2023. I still like the title I have right now, but it's 
a great option to give you more title ideas. And then it gives you a really great video description that you can use with lots of keywords and then video tags that go along with the video. This is not free. It's like 20 bucks a month. So it might not be worth it, but I think Morse AI is just really, really cool. I love that it gives the tags and the keywords, but you can do this manually as well. So let's look at how I do this manually without a paid software. Also, in order to write my descriptions, what I like to do is this is the prompt I'll use. Okay, I'll go into ChatGPT and I'll write, write a seven sentence paragraph with loads of long tail keywords relating to, and I'll insert all the keywords I want it to include for my video. So let's say it's, let's go, let me give one from a video that I actually have here. Okay, here's one that I did for a client. So I could put in, write a seven sentence paragraph of loads of long tail keywords relating to social media marketing. And here's all the keywords that I'm wanting to include. And then I put in the title for a YouTube video description titled blank. And I put that in and you'll see it'll write me a really solid description that I definitely will tweak, right? I'm not gonna copy and paste this fully. I'm gonna tweak it to put it into my brand's voice and to add even more keywords if I need or take anything out that doesn't make sense. But this gives you a really great starting point for a description and saves you loads of time and elevates you in the YouTube search engine. Ooh, now the next super cool way that I recommend to use AI to scale your channel faster is A-B testing your thumbnails. And there's two ways that I like to do this. And I use the software TubeBuddy to do both of these things. I highly recommend using TubeBuddy for your business. If you haven't watched my video, TubeBuddy Secrets yet, you need to watch it because it's so helpful. I think every YouTuber should be using TubeBuddy and you can get a free trial to it using my link. I've used it since day one of my channel. But anyway, TubeBuddy is great to be able to figure out what is the best thumbnail for your videos. I'm gonna show you this new AI software that they have that's super cool. So what I'll do is I can go into, let me go into one of my videos that I have already done. I'll hit edit video. Okay, and then I'm going to scroll down and where you can see thumbnail, you can see how it says thumbnail analyzer right here. You're gonna click on thumbnail analyzer and it's going to compare your different thumbnails. So you can see here, I have my thumbnail. I can upload other thumbnails and it will tell me if it thinks that thumbnail is gonna do better, right? So I could drag and drop another option of a thumbnail I'm thinking of. Let's say I pull in this thumbnail and these are on different topics, right? But I'm just giving you examples of the different thumbnails. It'll show you, okay, it thinks that this thumbnail is 12% less effective. Wow, the current thumbnail I have isn't as effective as this other one. Again, it's for a different video, but I could try out the different variations and TubeBuddy's gonna analyze them and try and pick which one it believes is going to do better based on its AI software. Now, what you can see is, and the heat maps here are where the eye is going to pull. And you can hide the heat maps if you want, but it will tell you what it thinks of them. You could then run A-B tests on your thumbnail. See how it says that there? I could click on that and then I could run a test where it's going to go between the different thumbnails and then after 14 days or a month, it'll tell you which thumbnail it thinks that you should stick with that has the higher click-through rate based on real data from your channel. So cool, right? You can test thumbnails, titles, descriptions, tags. I've actually only ever tested thumbnails, but I'm really wanting to get into testing titles because titles and thumbnails are just so important. I'm gonna actually take the title from my Kajabi video that AI gave me and test between those two, we'll see. The next way I always, always, always use AI to scale my channel and push out my videos is having it help me write emails that I send out to my audience every time I promote a video. Every time I have a video go live, I also have an email that sends out to my entire email list. So in order to help that process be a little bit faster, I use AI and this is a prompt that I love to use. I will say, write me an email that uses a more casual and personal tone, incorporating emojis and a conversational approach to get my subscribers excited about watching my latest YouTube video. This video is about blank, the results my viewers can expect after watching the video are blank. This also include a PS with a call to action for them to and insert what you want them to do. 
So I could type this in here and I could say for this video is all about my YouTube AI secrets that will change your life. The results my viewers can expect after watching this video are scaling their YouTube channels faster with the help of AI. Also include a PS with a call for, to action for them to download my free AI prompts guidebook that goes along with the video. It's linked in the video's bio on YouTube, okay? So I would type that all in and then look, ChatGPT is gonna write me an amazing email. And again, I'm gonna use this just as a base and then I will add in my own voice or own comments or tips that I wanna make, but it makes writing emails so much faster because I don't have to come up with it all on my own. I have a starting place and then I can kind of make it my own and add in my own flair to it. Like, look at this. Okay, probably a little <laughs> too much on the emojis, but Hey there, amazing subscribers. I wouldn't ever say that, so I'd put it in my own voice. Hope this email finds you well and ready to dive into some mind-blowing YouTube and AI insights. My latest video is all about blank. And again, it's just, it's a great starting place and I can move things around and make it that much stronger. So cool. I would also put this into hypotenuse. Generally, I like hypotenuse better for emails just because it's coded with copywriting strategy. So I usually like there's a little bit more here. But again, this is like a really intense, I need to make it in my own voice. The next way I love to use AI to make scaling my channel so much faster is using it to take my long form content and creating short form content. Now, if you do a quick search like long form to short form AI software, you'll see there are loads of companies that are doing this and offering it. I know if you are a podcaster, Riverside actually has new software where you're able to take podcast clips and it finds the most interesting parts and creates them into under 60 second clips that you can put on TikTok or Instagram. But if you're using your YouTube videos, you could also use something like video.ai. This is something that I have some clients that they really like, where you can see on their website, make short videos from long ones instantly. I have given this a try where you can go in and take long form clips and it'll try and find the most engaging parts. For me, I've not found it to be always that accurate in terms of the clips that it chooses, but it makes it so much easier to create short form content. Let me show you here. So what I could do is I could actually enter my YouTube link and I can pick then the format that I want the video to be in. So I want it to be in portrait for shorts or Instagram reels. And then I could select this template. So what kind of text I want and I can scroll through and pick, uh, I kind of like, let's see, I think this one's kind of nice and I can pick three of them. So maybe I do something, I'll just do these two and hit continue. Okay, there we go. And my handle, I could put Danny J, Danny J, and then hit done. Then it's going to process the videos and I can come back and see the clips that it's made for me. So it took about 10 minutes, but I have now the seven shorts that video created for me. So you can see here, it has five chapters and seven shorts. So chapters are longer sections of the video divided by topics and shorts are small snippets up to a minute in length. Okay, and let me see, this one's only 15 seconds. Let's give it a look. And then once you start having to pay, you've got it all set up and ready to go to be making some sales. And if you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. You can see some of them make more sense than others. Like this one, email marketing didn't really make a lot of sense, but the pros and cons ones looks pretty good. And you can see here, you can change the landscape. You can change the template that goes along with it. So it's just pretty cool. Again, the software is not the best sometimes at picking out the best moments, but it is just a really easy way to be repurposing content quite fast and getting people interested in your videos on other social media platforms. So if it's something you're wanting to do, I think it's actually pretty awesome where it gives you 75 free minutes every month, if I understand that correctly. So if you were to upgrade, it's pretty expensive per year, but you do get, I guess, 75 free minutes every month. Mm -hmm could be worth checking out. Also, if you are a TubeBuddy user, there's another AI feature that I love to use that's called Suggested Shorts, 
where it'll look and analyze your long form videos and see what are the parts that have the highest audience retention. And it'll tell you, okay, this is where you should be making a YouTube short from. If you wanna learn how to do that, be sure to check out my TubeBuddy Secrets video where I go into depth on all things TubeBuddy that you need to know how to be using in order to scale your channel faster. Now, please do not forget the guidebook that goes along with today's video with all of these prompts that I've shared with you and more to allow you to scale your channel that much faster using AI. I hope this has been so helpful for you. If there are other AI softwares that you've been using that you love, please share them with me down below. While you wait for next week's video, check out this video and I will see you next time. Bye.